Uh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, this is Rusty here. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Oh my god, I'm gonna get banned. This video is never gonna get monetized. Holy shit. Leave. 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 Where's home? Where's home? Fuck that. What is that? Is that home? Okay. Long story short. Uh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Apparently, I left myself a fucking death trap when I got in. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, composure. Composure. Okay. What's up, everybody? My name is Rusty. We're back with some Subnautica. I just realized that I have been lacking on the, the numbering of my episodes, which um, sucks because I know you guys like that. How do I tell if this thing is on or off if I can't see? Okay, I see it now. All right, cool. I've been lacking on doing that, alright, and I need to. Um, in today's episode, I'm not actually 100% for sure what we're getting into. All I know is some of you guys left me some comments that I need to get to for like reinforcements of the base, a couple other things that touch up things that we need to get into. And I know I've been posting a lot of different things lately and not really like Subnautica all the time, so I feel like. See the next scheduled video I have to release. Today is the 24th. It's 10 a.m. I've been up all fucking night playing zombies and GTFO and all kinds of crazy shit. But like, I think the next episode, like that I'm posting, not next episode, but the next, the next like little video that I'm posting is going to be a horror zombies map. So I try to space it out. So I need something Subnautica, and I'm tired of shit. But we're going to try to figure things out. I think first and foremost, starting with the, where, do I have my bio thing? My bio, no, I don't, okay, but we will consume this stuff, though. Potato mix, potato drive, okay, I mean, I'll eat it. I, I'm not sure if I need the espresso, I'm not entirely sure where I got that either. I, I don't remember anything, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that's what makes this series so difficult, is because I'm so, like, harebrained with it. Welcome anyway. Let me try to find my biome habitat builder. There it is. Store all this stuff, you know, as much as we can at least, because I don't actually need, well, I actually might need the titanium. Let's just go with the four pieces and just hope for the best on that one. Maybe I need more. This is life pod four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Data bank, okay. So now I saw something, it's called reinforcements. Somebody commented reinforcements. Uh, that's supposed to be in my build menu, I think, but. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see it. Let me just like double check this comment really fast. So there's this thing called reinforcements and you need to add it where your base will not flood. It is found in the build tool. Okay, now am I crazy? Reinforced habitat foundation, I see that. Is that what I need? Okay, I think this is what I need. I need lead for it. Okay, so next time we expand, well, I might as well just go ahead and do it now, I feel like. I feel like I should have, like, yeah, just a shit ton of lead. I'm just going to take all this and then titanium. And then let's just build a few of them because I'm going to forget otherwise. Thank you, Level Grind Cam, for that comment. If you're watching this, I really appreciate it. Let me see. Will this clip into my base or not? Like, is this something that I should be worried about? Hopefully not. I am hoping that this is actually like what I need and I'm not like just like tripping either. Oh, it says two to base hall strength. So I guess if it is what I need. Or at least maybe something a little helpful. 
What I'm a little worried about is this glitching into my actual base itself, which I guess I probably should honestly just go take a look at that instead of continuing to build more. Okay, no glitching through. So yeah, I think that was some solid advice. I think we're good. Do want to put my habitat builder away though, because I don't think we're going to be using it right now. Where is this stupid thing? Okay. What did I put in there? One well, of my batteries. I want to keep two batteries on me for, I mean, obvious reasons. And then I have something that I unequipped that was in my first slot, which was my flashlight, probably. We'll say my flashlight's probably what it is. Okay, so let me check here really fast. This is what? It was, it was downloaded to the databank, which is uh, Degassi survivors? No, Aurora survivors. And it was life pod what? Life pod four, okay, so. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing a life pod four. Let me just read this back. This is life pod four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. And I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Okay, so it says bring radiation protection, but I'm not actually seeing a life pod 4 um, in the data bank. There it is. Located at sea level, pod is in close proximity to radiation fallout, transmission approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. So, right about the big hole? I feel like we probably can do that. I, I'm not a big fan of having to put my radiation suit on. I, at this point, I feel like I'm just gonna keep this thing on. Like the rebreather is nice, but I don't know if I really notice a difference. Okay, it says when we're diving deeper. So we'll keep that in my inventory just to make sure like we're good. And then we're gonna head over there and hopefully find what we need. Uh, if not, oh, I don't know what the fuck else we're doing. So, let's do that. Where's my thingy? Yeah, let me take a look at this picture one more time. So we have that big, like, hole right there. Which, I'm going to be honest with you, kind of looks like... If I were looking like... This, that looks about right. And so it says... 150 meters northwest, which is going to be this way. Assuming they're already dead, I probably should just go ahead and look down. Because, like, when's the last time I actually, like, well, does it say flotation? This flotation device is active, but, like, I don't know how much I actually trust that, to be honest with you. Still feel like I should look at the bottom. Not 100% for sure though, and I don't know how to tell if I've gone 150 meters. Oh no, there it is, right there. Never mind, it's right here. We're cool. We found it. This is life pod six. This is life pod four. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Is there anything we missed in here? Mist in here, out there, or something? No, but it's gonna give us some titanium, so I'm not super mad at it. This is like pod six, though. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll be back. Okay, so I am tripping, and I'm pretty sure it is actually floating. And then I'm also slightly concerned that um, I quite literally just went the wrong direction. Well, not necessarily the wrong direction, but um, like fairly certain that I'm on the wrong end of the ship. Like big fish in the water is that Leviathan over there on the other side? So I almost feel like I'm on the wrong side. So yeah, we're gonna go around, figure it out. 
Anyways, guys, so helpless plug here. If you guys haven't joined my Discord yet, the link is going to be in the description. This is the absolute best way to get a hold of me. And plus, I do polls and stuff over there. Wait, is this life pod for? Are you smoking crack? Ah, oh, bro, really? Okay, I'm fucking retarded. Anyway, guys, join the Discord. It's the best way to get a hold of me. Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get that thing up and going. How the fuck do I get in here? Is there a big hole bottom? No. Alright, cool. Creature decoy. I, I, I don't think I need a creature decoy. I mean, I guess maybe for the Leviathan, but... I've kind of done okay so far. I mean, I, I think I successfully escaped. Earlier, at least. It's just special equipment, which I'm assuming is the prawn suit. I'm gonna take a look down here. I don't think I see anything interesting. Okay, so I guess we have other agendas to do. I feel like there's something I'm missing because I still need to upgrade this stuff to be able to go into depths like that. And then the prawn suit. The prawn suit, if I'm not like mistaken. Aerogel. I don't know how to make aerogel. Maybe I'm going to Google and find out how to get that. And then we well, should be able to make everything else. I mean, I think I have two extra diamonds. Dude, I'll be fucking damned if I don't stop running into these fucking fuckheads. Like, what is that, dude? Like, I mean, he's a leviathan, yeah, but... Oh, God. Do you fucking really see me already? Oh, shit. Alien space! Stay the fuck away from me, you bitch. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I found an alien structure, and now I'm curious to explore it. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. That's not fucking scary or nothing. Wow, what is this? Oh no, please don't tell me. Oh wait, this is a gun. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, I'm looking for gel sacks, and I'm not actually entirely sure if it's over here, but I know where I'm at uh, from me watching a Subnautica series like a fucking month ago before I started this series and just never revisited it because I'm a fucking idiot. But I know where I am at least. Kinda. Uh, I believe this is where the Aurora is actually going to rescue me. But is this the place that I actually need to be for the gel sacks? I I want to say no. I feel like this just goes on to like happily ever after. Ooh, shit. I feel like this just goes happily ever after. I don't think I go anywhere else. But we can explore this early. I mean, I don't see the issue. And then worry about aero, aero gel or gel sacks at some other point. And uh, I mean, I didn't have, I don't have a tablet on me, but I think potentially I might be able to find one here. So I think we should be okay. And I don't, I mean, I'm 99% sure I can't turn off the gun this early, but um, I can do some exploring at the very minimum. So let's go ahead and do that. This should probably fill out the rest of the episode for today. I'll have a tablet on me, but I'm pretty sure somewhere around this island that we can explore, um, I will find a tablet at some point. See some spiders. I don't really want to fuck with them. They're kind of annoying. Okay, yes, I do see a purple tablet. And is there anything over here that I need to get that's on top of here? Probably not. I say probably not, but I'm not 100% for sure. Just want to make sure. I mean, doubtful there's any like PDAs or anything just fucking chilling over here, but you never know. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be a lost cause over here. Let's um, 
continue to find the little follow the alien little marker things then we might actually go inside after we get back down but it looks like to me that they kind of wrap around a little bit now, is this gonna be to like a cave or something Oh wow, this is fairly close to the Aurora. I didn't notice this before. Goodbye. Okay, okay. I mean, nothing interesting so far, I feel like. I don't want to fall down there. Fuck that. I feel like I actually do take fall damage in this game. I'm not 100% for sure. No, I do. I do. I remember. I remember I took fall damage down here. But, or, uh, on the Aurora, I did fall damage. Because instead of having the... Pro, uh, using the... Pro, the whatever the, the cannon is to move the boxes. I was just like, parkour! Hardcore parkour! And just like, jumped on the boxes. And I yeah, almost fucked myself. I want to say I already came through this way. So maybe we're going to go up this way. Oh, nice. Another purple tablet. Well, too fucking bad. I don't have any calories on me. Unless you want me just to eat salt. Which, I mean... Fuck it, I guess? But I... I yeah, no. I don't see anything over here but that damn stupid spider. Okay, so... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm not dead, actually. Holy fuck. Shortcut. All right, whatever. Let's head back up and take a look at the... Uh, is, it, is it up? We're we going up or down? Going down. Let's go back, and then we're going to go explore the little place for a second. Don't... I want to say there's not really shit... Oh, diamond. Sweet. I'm be so fucking rich when I get back. It's fucking psych. Altera's fucking charging me for every single penny that I'm collecting. Which, I mean, fuck them. Definitely not going back to work for them. Okay, my inventory's full, but holy shit, there's a lot of diamonds and lithium here. And I'm gonna be honest, I really wish somebody would have said something earlier about that, because that would have been really fucking nice. I'm just gonna hop back in the water, I think, and go over there, because it's a shortcut. I think that's the deal. Oh, dude, I have ion cubes at the house. Hold on. Let's put this in here. I think if I come back here at some point with the ion cubes, I'm like 99% 90, sure that I can actually open a portal that's gonna take me somewhere else, which I'm not sure if that should be helpful or not. Performing structural analysis. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Are you not going to read it for me, you greedy bitch? I guess they're not going to read it for me. I mean analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Oh, you're joking, right? No. I can't discard anything either. Oh, there's no fucking way I'm going to starve on this stupid fucking island. Uh, okay, alright, alright. Guess I'm going home, if I can. And <laughs> starvation imminent. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one for 20 minutes, and we will hopefully actually get kind of back on track with the main quest line. At least that's the... That's the hope. We're gonna make it back to my sea moth and hopefully make it back to base in time, which 
you know, may or may not actually happen. So hopefully I don't lose all my stuff to the um, inevitable depths of absolutely nowhere. But you know, if it happens, I guess, whatever. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for watching.